Mary Engel from Valley View Farms is here to answer your plant and gardening questions. How are you over there? Very good. I'm good. Let me, let me peer through the plants. <laughs> what did you bring us? This, this is, is Gloriosa Daisy. And what's cool this time of year is you can plant stuff and have just instant gratification. Plants have gotten pretty big, so you can still find some of the smaller ones, but yeah. you can also get some landscape plants to just get going. These Gloriosa Daisies will bloom all summer. You can just see all the different buds that are yet to come yeah. and great cut flower. I love the, the color, too. All right, we have a question from Craig from Baltimore. He asks, my turkey fig tree looks like it did not make it through the winter, but new shoots are coming up from the trunk base. Should I just leave the old parts of the tree standing or cut it down? We've gotten people in with their iPhones showing us all these pictures of their trees this yeah, year, I'm a lot sure. like it. And, and, and yeah, I would just go ahead and cut that old wood off, let some of that new wood emerge from the base and just see what happens with it. Okay. Uh, Brian from Bel Air wants to know, how do I get rid of thistle in my garden? Good luck. <laughs> um, what I usually do is take an, an herbicide and literally paint it on the plant. You know, I can put an old uh, like rubber glove over my arm and then also uh, like an old sock okay. and just dip my hand in some herbicide and just take it out that way. They are tough to get rid of. You definitely want to get them before they bloom because they start throwing seeds as soon as that happens right. and then you're really in trouble. Okay, good advice. What's the best spray to use on a peach tree for leaf curl? See, I'd go have to look at all the stuff and look at the label, but there are some fruit tree sprays out there. Um, usually peach leaf curl, they would use an, uh, some type of a fungicide. Copper is one that's been used a lot. There are some naturals out there that you can use too. Just head to your garden center and really just ask to, you know, read the label. Read it right there in the store okay. so you know have the right product for the right plant. Sounds good. One more. I love Schifflera. Yep. But they always end up getting a sticky residue on them and the leaves start dropping. What am I doing wrong? Um, they tend to get some different insects. And again, scale is a problem on chef layers and sometimes spider mites. The best thing is if the plant's grown properly and, and culturally, it doesn't tend to get those problems. So put it in an area with morning light. Um, you want to make sure you water the plant pretty well. So not so much that any water sits in the saucer. Most importantly, though, is humidity. Okay. Once you bring the plant inside is when they get the problems. If you can put it outside this time of year with this lovely humidity we're dealing with today, yeah. the plant's going to love it. Excellent. Right. Well, at least the, plants <laughs> the plant will be happy. Ooh, don't really. <laughs> Thanks so much, Carrie. Nice Sorry, to thank see you. you as always.